Hey, it's Mike from Game World Engineer, and today I'm going to cover an error in Unreal, which is, has been caused by the latest version of Visual Studio. So what happened was I updated Visual Studio to the latest version, which is 17.9.3, I think it was. And I, then I tried to create a C++ project in Unreal Engine 5.3. And this is the error that I got. So you get this error where it says it can't compile the project. Would you like to open it in Visual Studio? If you click open with Visual Studio, well, Visual Studio loads, but it doesn't do anything. So you can't really do anything with it. You just basically have to hit cancel here. But the error here is this F hazard record pointer collection error. Cannot access private member declared in class F hazard record. So I was looking for solutions for this. And it is a known issue from December 2023. Um, so the the basically the solution here is to go to so go into Visual Studio Installer and do do a modify on your Visual Studio version. S say I have 17.9.3 of the build tools installed. Modify. And yours might not say build tools, it may say Visual Studio Community. So we'll go to individual components. And then we want to make sure that down here where it says compilers, build tools, and runtimes, we scroll down to where it says, where is it? So by default, it installs the latest version of the build tools. We need to install this version here, the 14.36 to 17.6 version. This is, uh, it seems like some of the newer versions of, the, of these build tools cause this problem. So if you install this, then it'll get rid of it. So click, so install it, it doesn't take that long. And then this, that should get rid of this error. Um, the other problem was once I got rid of that error and tried again to create a new project, so you basically want to delete the old one and create a new one. Uh, this is the error I got the second time after doing that. So it says unable to instantiate mod module swarm interface, could not find NetFX SDK install directory. Install a version of .NET Framework SDK at 4.6.0 or higher. That's So the solution to that is to come back into here and go to the .NET SDK right here, .NET Framework SDK at 4.6 or higher. So I installed the .NET Framework 4.8.1 SDK and th this doesn't take long at all to run and installed it and that fixed the issue so if you had this issue it's kind of frustrating it only happens if you create a c plus plus project a blueprint project works fine uh, but if you need a c plus plus project and you get that error that's the solution so if you get this error just install those two items and it should take care of it you may you will have to delete the failed project though and create a, a new one again so hopefully that fixes your issue so like subscribe comment down below and we'll see you in the next one